Today's video is going to be a bit different. It might be a little bit of a throwback to some people. Um, let me turn this off. Um, I'm just going to be telling a story of basically how I obtained my my automobile. You know, I was going to say, cool car, man. What is that? Enteca? Oh, yeah. What's that? For, 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 like, for, for, I can't see it. Ferrari? That, that's how you say it. Ferrari? BMW? But yeah, I was gonna make a joke, but I can't pull it off with the accent. I'm not. But yeah, let's get right. Yeah, let's get right into the story. Alright. Like how I got my car and before I even got my car I'll just give you some backstory like I, like I was first like um in a high school and I was looking at uh cars on Kijiji because um I like I was just curious like on how much like a used car costs like a used Honda I was looking at Kijiji and um cars were like like pretty cheap like I could afford it like yeah I could afford the car like easily and buy it and have money left over so like I was just looking, oh shoot, I can buy, buy these cars. So I was just browsing around and stuff. And I was about to buy one car, which was a a DA Integra, which is a second gen Integ Integra. It's a white four door one. I'll include a picture just to give you non car people a, a better picture of what I'm talking about. Um, I was going to buy that car, and the car had a frame damage because um the owner hit a pothole um and that was the main main uh issue with the car and the car was in quebec so uh that's like a four hour more than four hour drive just one way and then back is probably another four hours so it'd be like a full day or like overnight trip to get get a car so my dad told me to get some uh like a second opinion on the car and he sh said I should ask um my mechanic teacher because I was in grade 12 in high school like I had a mechanic teacher in my my school so uh I asked him and he said like I shouldn't buy the car because like frame damage is like once the frame is like like it has a hole in it like it has a hole in the floorboard and the the frame so like the car is like basically needs a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of work just to get it uh, safety than roadworthy and it wouldn't be worth it for that car which is kind of a, ironic how I'm saying it right now because my car right now is a money pit but yeah I was gonna I was gonna buy the car but my teacher said no don't you shouldn't waste your time and because my teacher said no I didn't buy the car if, if I never got his opinion I would have bought that um but I didn't so my dad was like you know, just take it easy to just buy a car when like you need one and stuff because we have we have no space and all that um for the car even if we got it so i was done searching for myself i was just looking around like one more time and um i seen my integra up like i seen the add up on a kijiji going for a thousand dollars uh and I, I i looked at the ad like i seen the ad right when it, like the guy put it up like he put it up recently basically and um i was like i messaged the guy and said if it's still available he said yeah i messaged him like details like what, like what's wrong with the car what's up with it i told my dad like i sent him the picture of the car and uh saying like this is the last one i, I want to like look at um, he said message a guy and I messaged him and like I was actually considering buying that car for a thousand dollars and I had enough money for it and like when I got home like it was that later that night the guy said he had a buyer and it's gonna be gone that day and um, I was planning to buy it like if I was gonna buy it I was gonna buy it like later later like a couple of days so when he posted that so he said I had, had a buyer and I was like oh man I can't buy the car no more 
He's like, I told my dad, like, I guess this is a sign I shouldn't buy the car. And that same day, later that night, the guy messaged me again and said, oh, um, the buyer flopped and never came to pick up the car. So I was like, oh man, like I, I told my dad, like, the guy, the guy's not uh, selling the car now. Um, so like, we we're like saying, like, should I buy it still? He's like, my dad was like, he was, he was trying to like be a good dad and like try to support me and like buy a car and all that. So like, we called up the guy, wanted to buy it like after work or something on a Sunday. And it was, I think I messaged, I was talking to him on a Friday. And the guy said, um, he's trying to get rid of it as soon as possible because it's taking it space on his driveway. My, yeah, my dad called him and said like, like my son really loves it. Like this is like one of his cars, like the cars he really wanted. And like the guy was like being, basically being like, he wants to get rid of the car. And um, he doesn't care like who's buying it. But um, my dad like just negotiated and said, oh, we'll come like, I'd work the next morning, the day we called. I'd work at 8.30. My dad said, we'll be there at seven o'clock a.m. Um, on Saturday morning. The previous one was like, he was kind of like iffy about that time. We were planning to go the next the seven o'clock, be there at seven o'clock. And he lives like half an hour away from us. The next day, me and my dad, or my dad and I, I can say, woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday to go buy my my sheet box. I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I have a dad that could like wake up, like just do that for me. Cause like, I don't know if like a lot of dads wouldn't do that. Crap. Wake up 4 a.m. for your son, for your son to just go buy a car, like help him buy a car. You know, uh, like a very small amount of dad, like dads do that. Like, you know, I know that. He woke up at 4 a.m. He probably left at like, no, yeah, probably left like 6 a.m. or something. Like, it was just like super exciting for me. But yeah, when uh, we pulled up at the, the guy's house and I saw the car, I was like, oh, like, dude, like, I was like so excited because like, it was just like the car I've always wanted. And it's just like, I don't even know how to describe the feeling. Just, yeah, we seen the car, we met the guy, shook hands and stuff. Um, like he was a young guy too. He was like probably like he was in his mid mid uh mid twenties I think. He was like twenty four, I think. We looked at around the car and like it was like a incredible man, incredible feeling. I don't know how to describe the feeling. I didn't really check that much. Like I was so like inexperienced with the car, so I didn't really check that much of the car. I kind of got lucky with my car. Like it's not like the engines. The engine was the engine was good right now. So I got lucky. I didn't check no oil or nothing. I basically checked around the car. Just checked like the engine to see if like everything's intact. Checked under the body to see if there's like any like major rust. And I checked the trunk to see like there's like not how it looks like. I didn't really check the car when I was like when I bought it, but. Uh, we test drove it. My dad test drove it because I didn't know how to drive stick at the time, and like I was, I was just like it was kind of like a happy moment for me because like my, my dad got to drive stick like for the first time in a while. Like I don't, I don't think my dad got to drive stick in years, and like it's kind of he was getting back to his roots, you know. The car like when he, my dad started up, it like sound nice, man. Like when I first heard it, it's, it's the same exhaust in my car right now. But like when I first heard it, it was like. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is kind of greasy, you know? And I was like, my dad test drove me, like, like, you see my dad drive stick, like, for the first time? It's kind of cool, because, like, I, I didn't know how to do that, and, like, it was just, it's cool. But yeah, we bought the car after, um, when I went back home to go to work. And, like, the whole, this whole time, I was like, I was like, in awe. I was like, I can't believe that. I have the, I had the key in my hand like I'm I'm in awe and I like I bought the car like I'm I have an Integra now I was just in shock like for the first few for like a good few weeks after I bought the car I couldn't drive it right away because um we had, we had nowhere to put it so something happened when I was editing my video um Windows Mo Movie Maker is being you know naughty right now so uh, I was supposed to insert a clip um into the video but it's not working so 
I was basically summarizing like how I had to get my car stored for like at my grandma's house for eight months because um it need it needed like a safety and stuff to get it roadworthy so I couldn't bring it back home until like I got that done. Then. To get the safety, like I brought it to get yeah, the safety done. It was like three thousand dollars almost. Then I had to save up money for that just to get my car fixed and like after that was done I got to bring my car back home. So yeah, I just wanna just include that part in. Yeah, my dad's main concern with the like if I want to start driving my car his main concern is like where am I gonna park my car? Cause um like he thought we had no space in our driveway and our garage was full and it was and he said like until we get our garage clean and get like so you can fit your car then then you can like bring it back home and start driving it and um we still haven't cleaned our garage and it's like like after i seen like the driveway had space like I, I like i did some like you know some mathematics like some measuring and stuff like i did some like approximation and stuff and and you know just i seen you can fit another car there and um I was like telling my dad, like, I can, like, fit my car, so park sideways, like that. And, like, my dad, like, like, he's, like, not even, like, li he's not even listening to me when I'm saying that. He's, like, like, you can't park there, your car's not gonna fit. I got, I got fed up with, like, my car being stored for so long, like, I couldn't drive it. I bought it, like, I had it for eight months stored, and, like, I, I thought it was gonna be, like, a year, like, for, like, having my car to even drive it. So, like, I got fed up. Like, I, like, I, I got it, like, I was waiting for insurance to get cheaper. And once I was like able to get insurance, I told my dad I'm gonna park. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove to you wrong. I'm gonna park like how I told you. Like and and um, my car's gonna fit in that spot. And he's like, okay, if if you get if you, if it doesn't fit, then you're screwed, and we and if you have to park on the street, you get and then you're screwed. You have to get tickets like that. I brought my car back home, like, to, like I started driving my car, um, uh, in November, and right now it's um June, so like I still want to have my car. It'd be like over a year, over a year and a half almost, of me not having my car. If I never took that leap of faith, I wouldn't have my car right now. It's crazy. So yeah, my like my car, like it's a lot of, it's, like done a lot for me, like experience wise, like it's changed my life like if i didn't have like my car right like at all like my life would be like com it would be completely different to be honest but, like, i'm thankful and blessed i have like the dad that i have and i have family the family that i have like i'm thankful for like like everyone that's helped me with this with this car like, even friends and family because it took some blood sweat and tears this car like it's just a lot it's not, it's not, I'm not, even, not even like close to like done like building my car yet it's like it's still like a piece of crap but a lot of work to be done with it but like just getting on the road and stuff it was, like, it was an adventure and a half but so if you watch my my youtube video, like if you watch this youtube video I, I know some some of there's gonna be very few of you that that are right at this this timestamp very few of you i just want to thank you for listening because you actually care um because right now i'm just talking to talking to just a camera i'm talking to a piece of metal I'm talking to a piece of metal in a circuit board basically and some glass but, but yeah that's the end of my story um i want to get I want to um, do some more car videos soon like I have more stuff planned it's just like it's getting delayed and stuff and, but yeah but that's it thank you very much peace and hair grease Thank you.